Good morning, traders. I'm Michael Sabo here with RJO Futures on Tuesday morning, uh, September 25th, bringing you some opening commentary here in the energy markets. So what do we have going on today here? Well, uh, a little bit of a bounce upwards here. Uh, you know, uh, let's first to kind of do a recap here on yesterday's price action. Uh, you know, we went down to a low of 91.06 there yesterday. Couldn't break that previous low that we were talking about. So I do think we do have a temporary uh, uh, support, you know, in the market right now. Um, currently, we've got crude prices up about 62 cents at around 92.5 a barrel. Um, we've got the Brent also firmer around 110.86. That's up a little over a dollar. Uh, you know, looking at nat gas, we're firmer there. We're up about uh, a little about three to four cents, uh, sitting around 286.90, uh, almost 287 there. Uh, today is uh, option expiration there in the October uh, option, so we'll take a look and see where we uh, settle at here, kind of eyeing around that uh, 290 area. Um, so we'll keep an eye and uh, we'll look for that here later today. Uh, looking at the complex here, our Bob Firmer up about two and a half cents, around 294.23, and the uh, heat around uh, 311.62, that's up around 1. 75. So certainly seen a, a firmer tone here across the board after yesterday. You know, it was kind of a risk off uh, day. Today, uh, you know, taking a look at it, seems to be a little bit more risk on. Uh, there is a little bit of appetite out there for uh, some of the commodities. Looking across the board here, we are seeing a little bit of an uptick here, uh, possibly a little bit of a turnaround uh, Tuesday. Uh, you know, news out this morning here, we did have IMF here kind of lowering basically their outlook here for uh, global growth. Uh, and that kind of plays into something that, you know, I've been talking about in a lot of these posts, which is, you know, looking at the outlook here for the rest of the year and even into uh, next year uh, for crude oil, it looks like we're going to see that slumping demand. Uh, there's also been more talk about China uh, possibly coming in here for a hard landing. So we'll kind of see as things, you know, unfold here over the next couple of months. But ultimately, uh, I think, you know, based on all the information that's out there, looking at the economic data that's out there, it does appear that things are going to be here a little bit uh, softer uh, tone overall. Uh, later on today, we've got API numbers coming out here this afternoon, DOE numbers here tomorrow. Give me a call. You want to talk about the expectations? Uh, you know, we can uh, discuss that. Uh, you also get, you know, you got some fresh uh, debt concerns coming out of uh, uh, Greece and Spain. No big surprise there, in my opinion. You know, we know they've got a lot of issues going on there, and that's not going to be resolved overnight. Uh, but there is a little bit of talk of that coming out. And then, of course, the geopolitical risk. That's something I've mentioned here in several of the posts. You know, things continue to brew between, you know, Iran and Israel. And obviously, you know, we've been uh, uh, toughening up our sanctions there against Iran. And we'll see. We'll just have to look at how that plays out here. But ultimately, I don't think it's going to be, you know, a good situation. Uh, could, though, uh, you know, if something does happen there, it could provide, you know, a pretty big boost there to the crude uh, uh, prices there, at least in the short term here. Some of that risk premium, I believe, is already built into the market. But after the recent sell-off here, you know, if something does happen to transpire, you could see prices jump there a little bit. Uh, you know, I think right now what you've got going on on a technical side, you know, the indicators have moved slightly into oversold territory here in the real short term. Um, not looking for a real major bounce though out of this area. I think you're going to see more mar market consolidation and we'll look for a catalyst uh, and then the market's going to start, you know, I think uh, trending in, in, in direction there. So, you know, ultimately I still believe that there's some downside uh, movement in this market, uh, but we got to wait and see. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on things. Give me a call if you want to talk. Uh, we can get into more detail. The numbers are on the screen or shoot me an email. And of course, remember that futures trading does involve a substantial amount of risk. It may not be suitable for all traders. Good luck and good trading.